Thanks for checking out this short overview of Motion Keys. This is an extraordinary library which brings pianos and keyboard instruments into Sample Logic's world of organic motion and sonic automation. These instruments are production ready for you to drop straight into your own tracks. Before I get into the details of the library, be aware there's a separate Instruments in Action video where you can hear lots of presets. If you just want to hear this library being performed live without any chat, then that video is for you. Although there are a ton of keyboard virtual instruments on the market, Motion Keys is a different beast and a refreshing take on playable keys. The engine combines expertly sampled piano and keyboard tones with the world's most powerful quad-core animator to produce dynamic patches that spring from the speakers. This library includes over 450 multi-sampled instruments and presets, containing 12 gigabytes of inspiring audio. Running exclusively in the full version of Contact 5.8.1 and above, Motion Keys goes far beyond what you'd expect from a Contact Keys library, with every preset meticulously layered with motion and hybrid effects. So let's have a listen. This interface might be familiar to you as it's similar in style to recent sample logic libraries, especially Cinematic Guitars Motion, which it most closely resembles. 
In fact, the most powerful features from several products have been carried over into Motion Keys, so you should feel right at home with the four cores, randomization, XY mixer pad, step animators, FX and mastering sections. There are some very useful workflow changes to the interface to make browsing and choosing sounds and presets easier than ever before. So let's take a look at that browser first. Using the multi-tags in the center section here, it's easy to find the style of preset that you're looking for. For example, you can choose a preset that sounds reversed. Or something with a more bell-like tone. And if you want to filter further, just select more than one tag. How about something bright sounding in a synth style? What about heavy and muted? Lastly, here's a patch that's both electronic and plucked. You can favourite your preferred patches in the browser by clicking the little heart icons and they'll be remembered even when you close and reopen the instruments. Within this one browsing page you can see presets for all four cores as I just showed, single cores just here, source sounds for the cores and even the step animator patterns, just choose along the top here. Filter and select presets using the panel here. Everything is laid out logically with each of the four cores having on and off controls for the sound and effects chain. And even solo buttons. You can browse via the tag system or use the arrows for each core. The browser is so flexible that you can load up just elements of presets and keep all the other parameters the same. For example, retaining the sound sources but loading the step animator parameters from a different preset. or just swapping out the effects. I want to give a quick mention to the Source browser specifically, where you can find the original multi-sampled Source patches, with acoustic instruments at the top and synthetic tones at the bottom. This browser is very handy if you're looking for a specific instrument or timbre. Using the four interface windows here, Core, Step, FX and Master, it's easy to completely customise presets and create your own unique patches. In the Core window you can set up the main controls for each core, including options for presets, sound sources, XY programming, filtering, attack and release, energy, panning and more. You can also set output channels, transpose and set playable ranges for each of the four cores. Just click open the windows. Mm -hmm. 
Don't forget that with the arrows you can browse core presets and source sounds. The step window is where complex rhythmic movements can be programmed with the step animator. You can open each individual core's step controls giving access to presets or just use the overview window. There are hundreds of step animator presets, let me solo just one core and run through a few of them. You can also use the step browser for this. Adventurist users can dive deep into the step animator and program up to 128 steps with notes, stutters and glides. Using different note durations and transpositions, arpeggio types and panning. It's also possible to set up the number of plays and direction of animation just here. Plus you can apply swing. If you want to transfer the data from the step animator to your door, just click into a core, activate MIDI drag and drop, record your notes, and then drag the MIDI to your project. Each core has six effect slots, which can be populated with over 20 different effects. And there are presets too. Key parameters of each of the effects can be automated too, on separate clock speeds to the step animator. Lastly, the master window features a hot swappable effects chain with comprehensive controls and presets, perfect for giving that final polish to your sound. Let's look at the very powerful randomization controls and filtering. The interface's intelligent randomization technology will generate genuinely useful results with just a couple of clicks. Start with a preset and go to work, randomizing presets, source, step animator pattern, the effects chain and many other sets of parameters. Keep the elements of the patch that you love and replace the rest. Here's a few examples of how quickly the changes can be made. You don't have to randomise all four cores, this time let's just change cores 1 and 4. Back to all cores and randomising the effects chain now. Mm -hmm. 
this time stutter and panning. You can even generate melodies and harmonies by randomising the transpose values in particular scales. So that's the basics of Motion Keys, a never-ending toolbox of inspiring keyboard performances. For more information head to samplelogic.com and thanks for watching.